Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, good morning everyone. It is 10.37. Oh, my popping. How is everyone doing? So in today's video, I'm going to kind of be taking you guys, first of all, I'm gonna take you guys pretty much throughout my whole day with me, but I'm going to be showing you guys healthy breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas. So basically I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a lower body workout and just kind of hanging out. Today's video is sponsored by Foreo. Foreo sells facial cleansing devices and their Luna Mini 2 has stepped up my game and has really improved my skin recently so I wanted to share that with you guys in today's video. But yeah, I woke up about 30 minutes ago. So the first thing we're gonna do is go downstairs and I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm going to make a breakfast that I would make on a regular day so I can show you guys kind of how my breakfast usually work. So let's go ahead and head downstairs and make some breakfast. Okay, so now that I'm done eating, it is time to fix my hair and get dressed for this workout. So today's workout, I usually would go to the gym, but I decided to film today's workout at home. And even though we kind of have like a gym set up in our garage, I'm gonna be using minimal equipment and no equipment is really necessary. People will tell me that they really wanna work out, they really wanna get in shape, but they can't go to the gym. That's an excuse because you can definitely work out at home. You literally don't even need equipment. Like you can do body weight workouts at home, but that's okay because not everyone's completely aware of that. But I will start to be sharing more workouts with you guys in the future. So for my hair, my hair's super dry and nasty right now, but I'm just going to slick it right back into a bun and then I'll probably deep condition it later. I'm just gonna get some leave-in conditioner. All right, so now that my hair is done, I'm going to pick out an outfit to work out in. So let's go into my closet. So these are the leggings we have to work with, but I already know I want to wear these super cute blue leggings right here. And then I think I'm gonna wear this like gray sports bra. It looks kind of weird off. It's been a minute since I wore this and I'm pretty sure both, yeah, both cups are literally on the same side. No idea how that happened, probably in the washing machine. So here's today's little workout outfit of the day. I've never worn this combination together, but I'm feeling it. This is cute. All right, you guys. So we are starting off this workout with some glute activation. If you've never heard of glute activation, I definitely recommend you guys looking into it. It's like the best way to warm up your glutes before a full lower body workout. And it is going to make your workout more effective. So this next exercise we're doing is called a side lunge. Side lunges are great for your glutes, your inner and outer thigh, your quads, your hamstrings, so pretty much every muscle group in your legs. It's actually really beneficial to strengthen your lateral movements while working out. As you guys can see here, I have both feet facing forward, my chest is up, and don't be nervous to go low, okay? It's really important to get a full range of motion while working out. That's what's going to make your exercises the most beneficial, and that is how you will see the most progress. All right, so this next exercise is called a single leg deadlift. If you've never seen a regular deadlift before, you can look into that. Those are also super beneficial. I like doing single leg deadlifts because they isolate each leg separately and I feel like I'm able to work on each leg more effectively, but these are great for your glutes and your hamstrings and you will definitely feel the burn with these if done correctly. 
This next exercise is called a glute bridge. I'm doing this exercise on a bench, but don't let that stop you. You could do this on your bed. You could do this on a chair. As you guys can see, I have my back on the ground. I have one leg on the bench and I am extending my hips to a full extension pretty much. Not like a bridge, but pretty much full extension. These are super bene- These are- What? These are super beneficial for building the glutes and I really recommend this exercise. You're definitely gonna feel the burn with these as well, but they're gonna help you out. All right guys, so this next exercise, if I could only recommend one move in the world to build your legs, this is it. This is a Bulgarian split squat. Bulgarian split squats are great for a lot of things, but specifically your quads. Do you guys see my quad right there? You see how my quad is on fire? This exercise is not the cutest. It doesn't feel the best, but sis, if you're trying to build your legs, this is the move, okay? This is like, this is the move. As you guys can see, I have one foot on the bench, but it does not have to be a bench. It could be a chair it could be your bed whatever you got that's what you can use once again my chest is up I am not leaning over the dumbbell and don't be afraid to go deep with these either cuz girl these are these are for you all right these are gonna build your legs So now that our workout is finished, I'm super sweaty, I feel nasty, I need to wash my face. So we're gonna head inside and do some skincare. All right guys, so we are now in my bathroom about to do my post-workout skincare routine. I literally use this every day, morning and night. You can ask anyone, it doesn't matter where I go, it doesn't matter whose house I'm at, I'm using this to wash my face. Once you get this device, there is no going back. So as you guys may know by now, I do make exercise a priority in my life, along with skincare. And post-workout, skincare is actually really important and a lot of people fall short when it comes to post-workout skincare they'll kind of just rinse off their face and go leaving behind all the excess dirt oil and bodily fluids clinging to our skin after a workout sweat is the breeding ground for bacteria which can cause breakouts and we don't want that to just sit in our pores so that's where the Foreo luna mini 2 comes to play. The Luna Mini 2 is a soft silicone facial brush that's going to remove dirt and oils off your face after a workout. Foreo actually stands for everyone, which I think is so cool because they do try to target everyone's skincare needs. They have different facial cleansing brushes. This is not the only one. I've definitely seen improvement in my skin. Since I started using the Luna Mini 2, I'm able to remove almost all the dirt and oil off of my face after my workouts, which is amazing and is not something I was able to do with just my hands. So this device has definitely upgraded my skincare routine. This device is 100% waterproof. You can put the whole thing under water. Not going to affect the product at all. And you seriously charge this device. It doesn't include any batteries, anything like that. You just plug it in, you let it charge, and you're able to get 300 uses out of this device out of one charge. So I'm just going to kind of take you guys through a walkthrough on how I like to use this device in my daily skincare routine. So I start off with the Luna Mini 2. I get it wet. You just need to get it a little damp before applying your facial wash facial wash so I'm gonna get it wet and then I'm gonna get my facial cleanser you can use whatever facial cleanser you're currently using on the Luna mini 2 and it's going to make a difference no matter what products you're using this is gonna change the game I have some face wash on the device now actually I'm gonna get my face a little wet first okay so now I'm going to turn the device on all you do is click the button in the middle right here and you turn it on like this. So now it's pulsating and I'm just going to wash my face with it. So you just kind of put the device on your face and move it around as you would with your hands. You automatically notice that it's going to make whatever face wash you're using suds up a lot more. Any product that you apply onto this device, it's gonna make it more effective. Not only will it make all the products you apply onto the Luna Mini 2 effective, it's also going to improve your skin's overall absorption of any products. So even after you're done using this device, any moisturizers, face masks, serum, you like to use on your skin after washing your face with the Luna Mini 2 it's going to improve the absorption and it's going to make your current products more effective so I like to wash my face with this device for about a minute okay so now I'm going to turn the device off and I'm going to rinse my face wash off my face and now I'm just going to pat dry my face after using this device on your skin 
my face feels so clean my skin is very oily but after using the luna mini 2 i feel no oil on my skin but my face also does not feel stripped i know a lot of products that make your skin feel really soft and clean also dry out your skin and make your skin feel stripped but the luna mini 2 does not do that after washing my face with my hands it's a huge difference so now i'm just going in with any other products i like to use on my face so i'm just moisturizing now i'm going to apply a serum along with the eye cream Freo just makes it so easy to get such a deep clean at home it's really improved my skin over time and that's why i continue to use the device i have no reason to go back to just washing my face with my hands it wouldn't even compare i love the Freo luna mini 2 it has genuinely improved my skin so much and i think it'll do good things for you guys too so if you guys are interested i will have the information down below but yeah that's it for my skincare for now i'll be showing my evening skincare later on in the day but that is how i like to take care of my skin and get rid of all the dirt and oils after a workout all right guys so i am now in the car i am on my way to go get lunch now i want to get a salad and then after that i'm going to go edit because i have content i need to work on so that's what we're doing while we're out just going to eat and get some work done so i'm just gonna pick up my food and then eat it while i'm editing okay but the baby's album though i'm so hyped to listen to it in the car i've listened to it through airpods but that doesn't hit like the subs i decided to keep my little ghetto setup up on my dashboard i have not removed the tape since the last video that i vlogged in the car so it was super easy to set up this time so that's good anytime i try to film like drive with me's or just like talking when i'm driving it feels like me trying to create conversation with a new friend whenever i'm driving i guess i just don't think about much how do you do it Okay guys, so I just got my salad. I'm so excited about it. As you guys can see, there's lettuce, there's grilled chicken, there's beans, which is even more protein, there's corn, tomatoes, which I definitely won't be eating, and there's some cheese. And then I also got what they call a fruit cup. I've actually never had this before, but it looks pretty good it's just fruit also i'm not showing my channel my nails since i got them done besides instagram but i got my nails done again recently they're white with an iridescent chrome on top i've never done all stiletto before but i think it's my new favorite all right guys so i'm now about to go and edit i'm excited i like editing in different places besides my room because it gets boring i'm more likely to get tired and not want to edit anymore when i'm editing in my room so yeah i'm at a coffee shop now but yeah i'm about to go inside and start working on actually this video all right guys so i am back in the car now i was in there for maybe two and a half hours and i didn't even start working on the video i planned on in the first place i ended up making finishing touches to another video that i finished editing last night never did i think making like final touches and just like watching through a video would take like two and a half hours but it did but now i'm very confident in the video and i got everything done that i wanted to which is good we did get some things done just not what i planned on working on but that's okay all right guys so i am back in my room chilling but i really want to do something about this hair because mm, this is like day three of the slick bun and it just needs some help my hair always needs some help like no matter when i'm filming my hair needs some help but i want to film a video including my hair tomorrow and i don't i don't want to go into it with this so i'm gonna deep condition my hair i just completely finished the video i was working on earlier today it's saving as a file now and then i'm gonna upload it i'm not posting it today but i do want to have that uploaded but yeah i'm gonna take my hair out of this bun and deep condition all right guys so i'm gonna take my hair out of this bun i put on a shirt that i don't mind getting deep conditioner all over okay i think that's all the bobby pins look at this we're gonna do some slight sectioning my hair's just gonna be in a part on the top of my head because my hair still slipped down in my head i'm gonna spray each section down before i apply the deep conditioner so this deep conditioner it says you can either you can either you can either let it sit in your hair for five minutes like while you're showering or you can put it on put a plastic cap on it for 20 minutes and get like even more deep conditioning basically so that's what i'm gonna do because i'm not in a rush and i'm not in the shower right now It's 
so important to deep condition your hair. Your hair can get so dry throughout the week, especially if you aren't moisturizing your hair daily, which I know I'm definitely not. It's really good to deep condition your hair to just kind of bring some of that moisture back into your hair to hydrate it, help keep the curls healthy. Look at the difference of my hair wet and my hair dry, as in color. I like to deep condition in the shower, but it's also nice to do deep conditioners out of the shower that you plan on keeping in your hair longer because they are more effective and they kind of penetrate your hair even deeper. So I'm just going to tie my hair back and put a plastic cap on and leave this in my hair for 20 to 30 minutes. Dinner's ready, so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat and show you guys what I'm eating. Since I have been updating you guys, what's on the menu throughout the day? All right guys, so for my dinner, I had tilapia, I had asparagus, and I also had a sweet potato. I know the fish, it don't look that cute, you know, but it was really good and I got protein, I got a little vegetable, we got some carbs, you know, it's a fulfilled dinner. All right guys, so I'm out of the shower. I washed my hair. My hair feels so much softer now. Look at this big t-shirt I'm wearing. Didn't know it was gonna be this big, but it's okay, it's so comfortable. a little dried out probably from having my hair slicked down to my head for like three days but i'm gonna diffuse it then just put it up in a pineapple because i'm sleeping on it all right so it's about an hour later and i pretty much completely dried my hair with the diffuser i just kind of sat there till it was dry my hair looks better now that it's dry and i'm just gonna sleep on it anyways well yeah at least my hair is moisturized and i actually have curly hair again all right guys so i'm back in the bathroom for my nighttime skincare i do like to have a nighttime skincare regimen as well because i have oily skin like i said earlier and by the end of the day i can literally wipe my face and my fingers are shiny like my face is greasy so I think it's really important to get rid of that before I go to bed because then I'm gonna sleep with all that oil and dirt on my face and then it's gonna get on my pillow and then my pillows dirty I just like to avoid that so for my nighttime skincare I still like to go in with my Foreo Luna mini 2 I do use this every morning and night I think it's super effective for my nighttime skincare because this device is so good at removing extra oil dirt bodily fluids, etc. I really look forward to using this at the end of the night and I rely on it to get my skin clean. So once again, I'm going to get this wet. Just gonna dampen it in the sink and then I'm gonna get my face wash once again, put that on the device and turn it on. I'm gonna get my skin wet. I always forget to do that first. So like I did earlier today, I'm just going to turn it on like so and wash my face. At the end of the day, your skin had the whole day to just collect dirt and kind of just creating a concoction for breakouts on your skin. So I definitely just recommend you guys checking out their website because there's so many different options to choose from. Okay, so now that it's been about a minute, I'm going to turn the device off. I just like to rinse it off before I even rinse my face off. I'm going to rinse this off my face. So now that my face is rinsed off, I'm going to pat dry it once again. Okay, so now that my face is dry and clean, I cannot tell you guys just how much of a difference you feel in your skin after using the Luna Mini 2. I don't feel the oil anymore. Nothing. Like, my face is squeaky clean. My skin feels so nice, and it seriously removed all the excess oil off my face. Yes, this video is obviously sponsored, but yes, I do seriously use this device on a daily basis. Seriously, since I've started using it, I've had no interest in going back to washing my face with my hands. I definitely recommend you guys giving it a try also this isn't like a habit for me but it's always recommended to apply any of your products upwards on your face like this instead of dragging your skin down because apparently that can cause sagging i don't know how accurate that is but it totally makes sense and if i can avoid that i will and then i'm just going to put on eye cream i'm not sure if eye cream like actually does anything but i like to think it does okay guys so that is it for my evening skincare my face feels so refreshed totally suggest you guys checking out the Luna Mini 2. I will have all the information you need in the description box. Seriously a game changer to my skincare routine and I'm gonna keep saying it. So go get you one. All right guys, so it's 9.51. I am calling it a night. I'm not going to sleep right now, but I'm just gonna start editing. Actually start editing this video. I wanna watch Netflix. This is just the time I start to chill. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't anything crazy. I didn't do anything extravagant, but I hope you guys were still able to enjoy this video. Video. If you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!